Hey, what's up, everybody? All right, so in one of my videos, uh, Michael Counter asked me about my Cody setup and how I got it looking the way that I did. And that's what I'm going to try and show you briefly in this video. All right, so you can see at first I have a Movies tab, TV Shows tab, Live TV, Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, uh, Emulators, Hyperspin, Internet for Google Chrome, Flood for my torrents, <clears throat> uh, ES File Explorer, and just a weather widget, and Pandora also. Uh, movies and TV shows. Uh, these are not a Kodi add-on. These are all my movies that I have on my desktop here in the house. I just use uh, Windows SMB Share. Um, I do use Plex Media Server also. That way, when you know, whenever we're out of the house, uh, vacation, hotel, out of town, at a friend's house, whatever it is, if you know, bored, got some time, kids want to watch a cartoon, don't have to struggle with you know, worrying about what's on TV, where to find it, things like that. I just you know, crack open Plex, and got access to all my stuff. So same thing for movies and TV shows. <clears throat> Now, for live TV, I use an app called Pluto TV. I mean, I don't even want to call it live TV, actually. I mean, it's got a guide. It's all internet-based. And, you know, if I want to watch news or poker, something like that, baseball, you know, I can. That way I don't have to worry about trying to, you know, look through the stuff that I have. I can just, you know mindlessly have something playing in the background like poker sports whatever <coughs> uh, next Netflix gotta have Netflix so really all I'm doing is I have shortcuts to all these apps and that's all I've done I've, I've set up the tabs in my Kodi to you know open up these apps and that's what I'm going to show you so when you first start up Cody you're gonna have confluence as your skin and nothing wrong with confluence I mean you can set it up to a degree the way that you like it but you know if you want more options you know more room to play around you know set it up the way that you truly want to then you'll have to get a different skin and so far, Aeon Knox, which I've been using, is for me the perfect one. Now, while you're in Confluence, even though you don't want to use this, just go ahead and go to your Programs tab, and you will click on Android Apps. From here, it's going to show all your Android apps that you have on the Shield, and think about which ones you're going to want to have a shortcut to in Kodi. Uh, Netflix, Hulu, Pluto, um, Hyperspin, things like that. Think about what it is that you want to have a tab for. And when you do, like for me, ES File Explorer, long press, and you will click Add to Favorites. Uh, flood, Add to Favorites. You know, if I wanted to add Geometry Wars, you know, Add to Favorites. So once you've added all the applications that you want to have access to, in Kodi, you know, once you've done that, then you're going to want to change the skin. You go to System, Appearance, and Skin. Now, when you're here, you could have it downloaded. Most likely, you don't. You will just go to the Get More option, search for Aeon Knox, and once you do, you will download it, and then it will ask if you want to install it. Yes. And here's Aeon Knox. Ask if you want to keep the change. Answer yes. So when you do, you'll be greeted with, well, it'll look nothing like this. It'll be Aeon Knox, but now you can do what it is you really want to do with it. In the system, we're going to focus mainly in appearance, settings, and main menu. Okay, I'll back up one. Personally, I keep my main menu low and uh, show video information on and I keep my layout to three items. But that's just me personally. Do it however you want to. Anyways, 
this is where we're going to be spending most of our time in the main menu. Now you're going to have different tabs at first. Yes, you'll probably have a movies tab, maybe TV shows. Uh, you'll have a music tab, uh, I believe it's settings, programs, things like that. Not sure. But you can rename every one of the tabs. Uh, you'll have concerts, services, uh, pictures, power, system, apps, and files. So I've used, I think this time, yeah, I'm not using apps, as you can see up there in enabled, it is not checked, so I'm not using that. So I could actually make another option for something else, uh, or another tab. Yeah, I don't use power, because all I did was, uh, power is only good for the quit button, really. And I just added the quit button to the system, that way it's, you know, one less tab. To have <coughs> and settings can be you know like a multi-purpose tab for that or system anyhow so anyways so you want to set up your Aeon Knox I have my movies tab actually I'm gonna start with an Android tab all right so Netflix the applications that we added to the favorites tab earlier if you wanted a tab for Netflix you know this could be named whatever you know let's say something that you don't care about something that you don't want all you know is you want it to be Netflix under default select chat default select action this means when you click on it whatever it's gonna do is determined by what you do in this tab we will go to favorite and then you will pick the application that you want this tab to open up and in my case I want it to be Netflix so I will click Netflix and when you do it's going to name the tab the same as the app you're using in my case it was named back to Netflix again so it fixed it for me <clears throat> right here is the wallpaper for this tab and all I did was a simple Google search for HD Netflix wallpaper uh, HD Hulu wallpaper um, a weather wallpaper an emulator wallpaper a live TV wallpaper, um, Pandora, um, a file manager wallpaper. That's all I did. I just I downloaded all those pictures, kept them in a folder, and then you change them accordingly. So for Netflix, set item background, set single image background, and then browse through your system, find the picture you want it to be, and when you're ready, click OK. Very simple. Uh, what else? <clears throat> you know, you can manage sub menus, which are, and I'll show you here. Under movies, I have genres and recently added. Under TV shows, I have recently added and in progress. Nothing for any of these. And actually, I'm missing something there. Under Pandora, uh, I used to have iHeartRadio and Vivo, and I think I'm going to go ahead and add those back. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. Hopefully I can do it without messing up, because this is a, supposed to be a tutorial, and, you know, how much confidence would you have if I couldn't get it right for myself? All right, so back in System, Appearance, Settings, and Main Menu. Now for the sub-menu, right, here's Pandora the default select action it opens up my favorite for Pandora right there uh, I changed the wallpaper you know downloaded a Pandora wallpaper but now I want to manage the sub menu so right now there's nothing so I want to add I want two of them one for iHeartRadio and one for Vivo so change action favorite um, there's vivo and it doesn't change the name here which you know would be kind of nice but hey whatever it's not too complicated so there's vivo and for the next one 
iHeartRadio. If I even still have that on here, actually, I might not. Yeah, I don't have it. Not a big deal. Um, let's see if there's anything else I'd want it to be. Nope. All right, well, that's fine. We'll just keep it Vivo. So I will delete that one since I'm not using it. And back out of here. And you will see that now I have a Vivo option too, so I can keep my music together. Ah, that's what I had before. There was another tab for my personal music off the computer. Hmm, why is he opening up portrait? Ah, uh, watch it. Why do you do this? Okay, can't click the continue button. It looks like this update for Vivo kind of screwed it up. Not good for Android TV. Alright, anyways. Next, um, we'll do uh, weather. All right, weather is a little bit different than the rest, simply because that weather is just a widget and not an Android app. So appearance, settings, main menu, and down here, uh, weather, the default select action is simply um, now I can't remember what is it. Common, maybe. No. Oh, that's right. It's a widget. Yeah. So, I think whenever you change the widget to weather, it makes the deselect the default select action the activate window. All right, so yeah, and same thing, added my wallpaper, and under info line, I added weather information. That way, uh, it shows the temperature in the gauge, or in the, uh, uh, the bar, right next to the date and time. Yeah, all right, I know it's not that hot out right now, but whatever. So, anyways, I mean, I, I guess that's about it. Um, <clears throat> maybe you do plan on doing a Windows SMB share. Maybe you're not going to do the Kodi add-ons for movies. I mean, if you are, that's fine. Obviously, do whatever it is you want to do. Uh, but in my case, since I'm using the SMB share, I could try and show you something about how I'm doing that. All right, first off, I mean, on your desktop, you need to be sharing the folder it is that you want to share. Um, so you have to set up a network share. Um, God, wow, that could be a completely separate video all on its own because that shit can be troublesome. Uh, Windows 10 has made it a little bit more complicated, it seems, to do file sharing. <coughs> but, I mean, I got it to work. It was just big hassle. Big, big hassle. All right. Um, so here, under movies. Oh, no, that's right. I didn't even do it through here. See, this whole thing right here can, is, I feel like I'm about to branch off into something that should use its own, <laughs> it should use its own video. It shouldn't even be a part of this one, really. movies <clears throat> now at the very top of this tab you will see the docs and when you do it's kind of taking you further back into the root of where things are hmm. all right mine's kind of locked up all right yeah mine ah there we go Froze for a second. All right, so files, and these are my network shares. One for movies, one for TV shows. So if I wanted to add another one, <clears throat> we'll go to add videos, 
And in my case, I had to manually enter the video source of, of my server. And I'll try one time to see if I can just browse for the source. And if it does work, awesome. But if not, again, it'd have to be a completely separate video to even go any further than this. But before, when I had it working, uh, I simply clicked on SMB, you know, Windows Network, and it found my server on the network. And I browsed to the movies folder, clicked on it, asked if I want to do um, you know, add album art and everything for movies. I clicked yes, and there we go. It filled up my library. But now Windows 10 not finding it. So yeah, it would require manually entering an address. Not going to do that right now. But the whole point of this video was to give you a little rundown into how I got it set up the way that I did. You know, all the tabs, wallpapers. Uh, I assumed the like the info art where it shows how many TV shows and episodes and unwatched and same thing for movies. You know, so those are the things that I did to get my Cody set up the way that I got it. So hopefully, Michael, this helps you. Anybody else, hopefully it helps you. And sorry if I started to ramble towards the end, guys. And that's what I do when I start running out of things to say. I just fill in the gap with crap. But anyways, like I said, hope to help you out. Um, that's it. If anyone has any requests or questions, or ask me in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, guys. Take it easy. Bye.